My name is Stefan Antonet from EPFL Blue Brain Project, and I will be showing cases some of the web applications that we developed in collaboration with eBrains to run in Silico experiments. To go to these applications in the eBrains page under simulation, we have these interactive workflows for cellular level. And if we scroll down, we have explored interactive workflows and use cases. Um, from here, we can explore all the different use cases. And today I will be focusing mainly in these three uh, web apps, um, uh, single cell, small circuits and brain area. So let's jump to the single cell. Um, when you click in this uh, first uh, application, you will have a list of models fetched directly from the eBrains knowledge graph, where we have the models, the morphologies, and some traces and some extra information about the model. So we're just going to pick one of those. The application for running these uh, things is called Neuron as a Service. In the left side, we have the morphology, how the shape of that, and we can interact with that. We also have a dendrogram view. If we click on that toggle, where we can see all the different dendrites and the structure of the morphology. The next step uh, is going to be to run some simulation in this uh, model. So for that, we have to define where do we want the current and the recording to be done. In this case, we're going to pick uh, the SOMA. And for the simulation, we need to define some parameters like temperature, the holding current, the duration of the simulation, and where is this recorded from. I'm just zooming out to have a better experience. Then we are going to start the simulation. We see that we have some spikes. And in the left side, we see how the neuron is reacting, like injecting from the soma. And we see how the spikes um, are visualized. When the simulation finished, we can download these um, spike traces. Uh, so we have all the information required to a better analysis. Another cool feature of this application is that you can upload your own model. So if you have a zip file with the hog files, the mod files um, in this structure, you can just upload it and run simulations. This was the first um, application then that we have only one neuron. Now we are going to uh, be working with multiple neurons. So a small circuit. And for this, we have two use cases like the full hippocampus C1 and a small circuit from the somatosensory cortex. Basically, our, um, we're going to show you first this uh, micro circuit. You see the shape of the circuit here. The colors are by layer. You can explore all the different neurons that you have in the circuit. And you get all the different properties for each specific neurons, the morphology class, the region, the E-type. So now it's time to select some neurons to run the experiment. So let's pick this one. And then we're going to use some filters. For instance, give me all the efferent neurons that are connecting to this uh, neuron that we previously selected. And you see in the left side, um, we have a more restrictive uh, neurons, like less neurons that are connected. And if we proceed with the simulation, we see the neurons. And again, we need to place the, um, we need to define where we're going to be placing the stimulation and the recording. in the first neuron and in the second one. And we have these parameters again, protocols, uh, duration, current, etc. cetera. 
and the simulation will run. We have some interaction between these two neurons. This interaction is in the second neuron that we are recording. And then also we can download this data. Just to showcase the other um, model, that is the C1, the hippocampus C1, is basically the same. We have this banana shape of the hippocampus, and then we can uh, change the colors by layer, by M type, by morphology. So we can identify specific neurons if we want. And uh, we are going to be picking two random neurons. So we see the morphology of those. And again, we can launch some um, experiments. And last but not least, we have uh, another application for running uh, brain area experiments. We're mainly focusing on hippocampus, and then we have again the CA1 and a subset of um, this uh, CA1. Let's go to the full one. In this web app, uh, first you need to define the population. So, which subset of neurons do you want to simulate? It could be the whole area, or um, it could be, I don't know, the basket cells, the excitatory cells, the inhibitory cells. You have the cell count in the right side and a visualization. So let's pick the inhibitory and then um, we're going to define where do we want this stipulation, the duration, the pattern, the synapses per cell, the weight. And the same thing for the reports. Where do we want the reports to be done in the soma, in the dendrites, and if you want to report the voltage, the calcium, etc. Then we have this expert uh, section that you can manipulate uh, the different synapses uh, with some uh, configuration and also modifying uh, some projections, some uh, spontaneous activity, the frequency of that. When we are happy with the configuration, we can um, go to the next step that is going to be to give a title to the simulation and define the resources that we're going to use um, in eBrains. So in this case, we're going to send nodes in a supercomputer and we can launch a simulation. We will have in the next page, a list of all the simulations that we have run in the past, the status and if they were analyzed or not. Um, we can go to the view to see a detailed view of that specific simulation. We have the configuration, the files that were produced during the simulation. We can download those files. And we can also analyze the simulation. So let's configure an analysis. We have uh, three predefined analyses, like histogram, a raster plot, and some voltage collage. And in each of these um, analysis, you will, they will ask you, I mean, the application will ask you if you, you want the whole population to be analyzed, some specific uh, IDs that you want to select or some random number of cells. I have already run this analysis. So let's view it in another simulation. Here you have all the plots. You can run several analyses, changing some parameters per simulation. And also you can, of course, download these plots and uh, download this uh, the raw data that was used to produce the plot. So that's mainly all that I wanted to showcase today. Uh, we have a lot more use cases that you can have a look in this section.